Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition mod showcase. And today I'm going to show you guys an awesome, like, really awesome mod. And this mod is called the Too Many Items mod for Minecraft Pocket Edition. So you may watch my tutorial, like, a little while back. That will be the, uh, that will be the first link down below in the description if you want to see that tutorial on how to get this mod. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right on to this, shall we? So, uh, as you can see, there's a little M bar, M, M, like, but. M, I don't know what to call it, M, yeah, M at the, at like the top left hand corner of your screen, you want to tap that, and as you can see now, you will get a list of items and blocks that are all in Minecraft pocket edition, now, um, you may be like, why is it giving me a list of items, I already know what all the items are in Minecraft pocket edition, well, basically what this allows you to do is it allows you to basically get these items, so if you want ice, all you gotta do is tap on the ice, and um set current slot and boom you've got a you got an ice block now this works more in survival so you can also change the game real easily from creative to survival and those features already implemented in um 0.11.1 but um it's just it just makes it more convenient where you don't have to exit out of the world in order to uh, in order to change the game mode so uh, if you want a couple diamond blocks let's say you want 64 to you now, uh, if you want to do a little bit of trolling with your friends, so if you're, like, on a multiplayer server, and you want to troll them, and you're like, Hey, do you have the too many items on? No, I don't. Then, uh, if you want some bedrock, got some bedrock. Boom, and you can place it down and stuff, and then you can't break it again, really. So, <laughs> yeah, there's your, uh, there's your troll right there. As you can see, you can't break bedrock. You should, you should already know that. But, um, yeah, just in case you weren't aware, you can't break bedrock. Just so you know. Yeah, I don't think I don't think there's any my MCPE mods yet that can allow you to break bedrock in survival, but you know. Maybe that'll be a thing in the future. So uh, now let's move on to the dot dot dot. So as you can see, if you hurt yourself you can heal or you can kill yourself. But luckily you have a experiment to enable and you can uh, can easily fill on your blocks so as you can see. It's not a it's not a bug. But the items are Always oh, there, you can still place them down, and, um, yeah. Move on to the next thing, which is a set respawn position, so you can reset where you spawn, so if I wanna, so if I now want to, uh, reset, reset my spawn on the diamond block, I tap set respawn spawn, and spawn position has been changed. So now if I go ahead and walk a, walk a couple feet away from this thing, and then, um, I go, uh, or blocks away from this thing, I'm talking... Talking real life here. Kill yourself. Boom. Um, that didn't work for some reason. I don't know why that didn't work. But, yeah. You know, mods always have bugs. Don't worry. But, so, um, yeah, you can easily switch from day to night, day to night, day to night, day to night, and it's pretty awesome. You can enable day night cycle, or if you're in a multiplayer server, you can easily teleport. Next up is remove nearby entities. So let's go ahead and head into creative and spawn a, spawn a few pigs. On like a, a whole pig family off, actually pig family, mommy, daddy, and a baby. So now, if you want to remove them, remove all nearby pigs, boom. All the nearby pigs are gone that I just spawned. So, uh, yeah. Um, then you can set nearby entities on fire as well, so let's go ahead and spawn another pig family. Boom. And then uh, set nearby, nearby pigs on fire, as you can see. All the nearby pigs light on fire. This is, uh, pretty cool but it's kind of mean at the same time and then if you punch them uh, as you can see which is uh, which is always fun i love free cook meat without having to actually cook it <laughs> so now you want to sit nearby mobs hp so you can make mobs very strong or a strong 20 hp doesn't really matter so now let's head over to the settings part and so you can so you can uh, i don't select button location so you can choose where you want the button so i just move the button over there or you can uh or you can move the button over there. Boom, it's back to over there now. Which is uh which is pretty cool. They can enable or disable sprinting. Since it back into survival. So um as you can see we are we have sprinting enabled. So um if you double tap the forward button, as you can see you're sprinting as if you were in the uh, PC version of Minecraft Activision, which is uh, pretty cool. Then you can enable flying survival. So as you can see here. Boom, we are now flying in the uh, survival mode, which is pretty cool. You don't need no you don't need any extra mods for this. You just uh you just fly in survival. Which is uh, pretty cool. 
And then you have disable and enable ticking, or you can enable eight slots on your hotbar thing, and, um, yeah. Um, I'm, effects don't really work, so if I said, like, plus one, boom, it doesn't really, uh, this, uh, the effects part of this mod doesn't really work yet, but then when it does work, I'll make a separate, uh, mod trick for that, but, um, yeah, that's, uh, many items this mod has to offer. And, um, yeah, I'll be using it on my mod showcase in order to, like, give me stuff. It's compatible with every mod, I believe. So, uh, it'll be pretty cool. And, um, yeah, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching this mod showcase. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for awesome Minecraft Pocket Edition videos every single day of the week. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.